Hello, this is Chris Pierce, and welcome to the Self Maintenance of the Brain and Body Podcast. This is episode 26, and I'll talk about sleep deprivation and cognitive health. As you've learned throughout this podcast series, and if you've studied about sleep on your own, you've gained the understanding that sleep is crucial for mental and physical wellness. Sleep is the cornerstone of holistic mind and body well being. Research demonstrates that achieving less than seven to eight hours of sleep each night will have negative consequences on one or more of the systems of the human body. You may notice these symptoms the next day, and in other cases, the long-term effects of constant sleep deprivation won't be felt until you get older. In this episode, I'm going to share with you how sleep deprivation degrades cognition and contributes to the development of Alzheimer's disease and dementia, and I'll share what sleep tips you can apply that can help improve cognition and prevent the likelihood of cognitive issues as you age. See, as we sleep, you, as you have learned that we cycle through four stages of sleep. The third stage of sleep, known as slow wave sleep or deep sleep, is a crucial stage that ensures healthy cognition, among other things going on. But I'm just going to focus on the cognitive benefits of deep sleep. During the stage, a bodily system called the glymphatic system conducts a cleansing of the brain. Now, do not confuse the glymphatic system with the lymphatic system, as this is a separate system. I like to call the glymphatic system the brain janitor, because as it's active during deep sleep, it's cleansing an inflammatory protein called beta amyloid. See, beta amyloid is a waste product of the cellular processes occurring in the brain as nutrients are metabolized throughout the day. Now, the way the glymphatic system works is that during the deep sleep stage, Cerebral spinal fluid travels through the body along a pathway called the periovascular spaces. These are spaces located within the blood vessels that support the the central nervous system. So this cerebral spinal fluid travels through the periovascular system, cleansing the entire brain and cleaning up the beta amyloid buildup. All the waste is eventually processed and exits through your body through the urine. Now, along the way, the cerebral spinal fluid also refreshes the brain cells with much-needed nutrients. Now, studies show that when you achieve less than six hours of sleep, beta amyloid remains in the brain, causing inflammation and resulting in cognitive issues. A study published in the journal Proceedings of National Academy of Sciences found that just one night of sleep deprivation significantly impacts the area of the brain responsible for memory due to the beta amyloid remaining in the brain. According to the National Institute of Health, Beta amyloid is a critical protein in the development of Alzheimer's disease and dementia. So many who live by four hours or less of sleep at night may feel fine the next day. Yet plenty of research demonstrates that they will experience cognitive issues into older age due to the buildup of beta amyloid over the years. Now that you understand the impact that sleep deprivation has on your cognition, here are some tips that can ensure you achieve adequate deep sleep. So if you use a wearable to track your sleep staging, you should be looking at achieving about 25% of total time spent in deep sleep. So things that can improve your deep sleep are first daily exercise. Now when looking at exercise, be sure to review episode 23 of this podcast series for the do's and don'ts of exercising to improve sleep. Another one is ceasing caffeine six hours before bed. This improves deep sleep. Another one is staying hydrated throughout the day. Going to bed and waking up at the exact same time each day also improves deep sleep as it helps synchronize your circadian rhythm. Looking at diet, a high fiber diet has been shown to improve the amount of time spent in deep sleep. And finally, managing your stress levels throughout the day will help increase your time in deep sleep as well. My challenge to you this week is to prioritize sleep. When we lack adequate time in deep sleep, some may feel what is called sleep inertia or sleep drunkenness when their deep sleep suffers and they feel the effects of poor sleep the next day. Others may not notice the effects until the age. By then it's too late. Make the behavioral modifications today to achieve quality sleep each night, allowing the brain janitor to to cleanse the daily beta amyloid buildup from your brain so that you do not experience severe cognition issues into old age. I challenge you this week to implement the tips I shared. This concludes this episode. Thank you for listening. Please tune in every Monday for another self-care tip. If you enjoyed this episode, do me a favor and share it with your family and friends. Please check out my self-care book, Self-Health Andragogy, Self-Directed Learning Approach to Mental and Physical Self-Care. It's available on Kindle, print copy, and audiobook. You can find links to this book in the show notes of this podcast.